Thank you. And our other big story, one year after the start of the Occupy Wall Street protests, protesters are back out today. They've been gathering around Lower Manhattan, and they are on the move right now. Iowa Decision Reporter N.J. Birkin is live in Foley Square with the latest. N.J.? That's right, Sade. They are a moving target. Demonstrators were determined to send a message about their movement, nonviolent acts of civil disobedience that were, yes, somewhat less confrontational than they were last year, but they were every bit the spectacle and the inconvenience. We want corporate influence out of politics. We want universal health care. Get the private insurance industry out. Their demands have not changed, and demonstrators return to Wall Street today with a vengeance. More than 100 protesters were arrested in the first three hours alone. All of our problems go back to Wall Street. Hundreds of protesters converged on the city's financial district from every direction. With marching bands, larger than life effigies, even an operatic soprano. Or with the same objective. Really try to, you know, to, to mess up daily life for the guys that are messing up the daily lives of millions of Americans. Demonstrators jammed key intersections and poured into the side streets. Nonviolent acts of civil disobedience that left many office workers and executives more than mildly annoyed. I'm trying to get to work on time and I can't because I was... Protesters were stopped two full blocks from the New York Stock Exchange where the trading floor opened on time and it was business as usual today. So close yet so far for Lauren DeJoya whose question for the bankers and brokers would go unasked and unanswered. We want to know why do you not get to go to jail for, for embezzling millions and millions of dollars but we can get arrested in the streets for trying to tell people that. Now again, hundreds of demonstrators today, not thousands. Uh, but like corporate America, perhaps, the organizers are trying to do more with less. We saw a change of tactics in the streets today. Much more on that part of the story coming up at 6. Live in Foley Square in Jay Burke at Channel 7, Iowa News.